Right, so, it's still quite early here when I'm recording this, so I'm still in need of coffee to, to get me to the, you know, the, the, the level. You need that level where you're just ready to talk and just a few more sips and I'm there. Okay, so this is my, what should I call this? This is my first impressions a video about this newer lens. Now, <laughs> let's try and get it off. Some of you asked to uh, have a closer look. So here it is. This is very small. Let me um, put my iPhone next to it. Look at the, <laughs> look at the difference. I mean, it really is tiny. Um, and actually, I'd say something about this. The dials, these dials here for, can you hear that? That one's for um, aperture, and this one's for focusing. That just moves slightly when you focus. See that? These are pretty smooth. I was surprised at how smooth they were. I thought they were going to be a bit more kind of grainy in their feel, but I was surprised at how smooth these dials were. It's a funny old thing because this is well built. It feels like it's all metal. I mean, I think it's amazing that these manufacturers can put these together. Now I know that a manual focus lens is a lot easier to make than a autofocus lens. You know, there's no IQ, you know, it's the whole thing is so much simpler for manufacturers. I understand that, but still to put together a lens like this and sell it for 44 pounds, I'm pretty astounded at the results that I've had with it when you consider its value. And I think this is the point before I talk about the lens itself a bit more. This is the point. This is like, do you remember the, um, the diving in the Olympics? Well, in the diving in the Olympics, what happens is, is that one person will dive and they'll get a point, you know, have however many points for their dives. The next person, they're being judged on a completely different scale. Even though they're in the same competition, because their, because their dive isn't as hard as the previous person's dive, they can never match the same score. Now they can do, they can do well, but it's not, you know, the level is different. And I think that's the same with this lens. That's the only way I can consider it, is that this lens, you can't compare this to a Fujifilm lens. You can't compare this to a proper X mount lens because of, of everything, even though it's built pretty sturdily. You know, it's not like that. This is more like going out and buying uh, a new kind of quirky paintbrush for an artist and thinking, you know what, today I'm going to paint a bit more abstract, like I'm going to be a bit different in the way I'm going to approach my art today. And that's how I feel about this. And then you can judge it to its maximum capacity within the scale that you've given it you know, within this kind of scoring sheet, this does really well. You know, I've been really impressed with the, like I said, the dials. I've been impressed, to be honest, it's pretty sharp in the middle. I mean, you kind of expect that with a lens that's 1.8, but it still is pretty sharp in the middle. And, you know, I've taken all kinds of shots over the weekend to just try and give it a bit of a test. And I've got to say that I'm pretty impressed with the way that it's, the way it's handled. Um, I just feel like it's got a place. I think this is the point of this. If I was buying a brand new camera now, and you know, this was my first camera and I didn't, you know, I was thinking, what should I get? If I had the money, I would get a, maybe the 18 mil pancake Fuji lens because then you can do autofocus and you know, it is gonna be a more reliable lens in my opinion in the future. So if I, if I had the money, then I would go that way. If I didn't have the money and I was just buying a body, this would be a great stopgap in between until you can you put together some money to get a lens with, with some autofocus. But I feel like this has got a place in my lineup and I'm gonna keep this because it was quite fun, I have to say. You know, getting, getting focus was pretty easy. The only thing about that, I, I turned on focus peaking and actually I found that with with this, I use the XE1 with it. And uh, if you put focus peaking on high, which is what I did, 
then it's really easy to use because you can very quickly see your areas of focus. And I quite like it. You can, as you turn that dial, you can watch where your focus is moving backwards and forwards. And I like that, you know, I like that. And so switch on focus speaking, definitely. Um, but my initial first impressions of this lens are within the um, area that I've kind of given it for scoring, it does really well. You can't compare it to an X mount lens. It's, it, this is a different type of thing. This is but it's quirky. Now, if you're going to shoot into the sun, it's really, really bad. You get a lot of flare. Okay, so, um, you know, I'm showing you now on the screen, you can see the flare. I mean, literally, I was pointing it at our guinea pig hutch in the garden. And the moment you point up even near the sun, you just get these beams of light. But you know what? You can turn that to your advantage because you can actually start making maybe some more abstract shots. So you've got to kind of play along with this lens and decide that it, this is not my kind of this lens is going to be on my camera every day and it's going to do all of our my kids parties and it's going to do all of our holidays. You know, you're going to have times when you're like, oh, I just want to go back to autofocus or I just want to put a Fuji lens, Fuji mount lens on, you know, or an, an X lens. But it's got its place and you can have a lot of fun with it. You can take portraits with it. You can take all kinds of shots with it. You know, um, it will make you a better photographer because manual focus is brilliant. It really makes you think. So there's a lot of good about this lens. And this kind of, in my mind, opens up the door to all the other kind of vintage style lenses that are out there that are very cheap. Because it means, you know, it gives you access to a whole load of lenses, which are a lot of fun. Um, so I'm gonna stop there because I wanna do a proper review of this lens. Um, here, a few, a few pictures now coming as well um, for you to see some samples, but, um, I'm going to do a proper review of this and, you know, really um, show what I think. But this is just my initial first impressions because um, there was quite a lot of interest back on this lens. So I thought I'd quickly just get something out for you. But um, definitely a, a thumbs up in the area that I've given it um, to score. And uh, yeah, so if you're going to get one of these, um, turn on focus speaking makes it makes it much easier to get your shot in focus. Cool. Thanks a lot.